It's Adam from Beasts of War. I'm here with John from Soda Pop Miniatures, and we're going to talk about Super Dungeon Explorer, which we first talked about at Gen Con 2010. What kind of new stuff have you guys got going on since then? Uh, wow, it's almost been a year since we talked. Um, so, Gen Con was cool because we got a little splash release. Wanted to see if people liked little silly, chibi, cutesy critters, and uh, the, the response was really, really good. Since then, uh, we've been to both PAXs, uh, Seattle, uh, as well as Boston here just a few months ago, and what's been a development since has been the full-on game project that we've been trying to get out. This is a massive box game. It's uh, stacked with all the treasure and loot and adventure stuff, big tiles, like well over 50 miniatures, and a whole bunch of stuff you guys haven't seen yet, which is really, really cool. Um, and so we're hoping to provide a nice, fun, valuable, you know, game evening, hack and slash, uh, beer and pretzel sort of experience, which I think people really get a kick out of. And do you know what kind of release date are you guys looking for for the, uh, the box set? Sure. So what we're shooting for, uh, you know, assuming China doesn't erupt, uh, is <laughs> we're shooting for Gen Con. So it's going to be an August release. Uh, definitely getting out here before the end of the year. Want to make sure we have a lot of it available on the show uh, with a lot of opportunity for people to come and try and play and hang out with us and, and have a good time. Sure. And uh, how many pieces, roughly, are you going to be getting in a box as far as actual miniatures? So different from what you guys have already seen, uh, we have 55 pieces in the box as far as model count goes, um, and these are all really, really high-quality figures. And we've been casting them in metal uh, for a little while, a lot of resin pieces. Um, they're highly paintable hobby miniatures. For board gamers, they're going to get it, and it's going to be, you know, plastic game tokens colored appropriately as is. Uh, but they're also being produced in a high-quality uh, polyvinyl in the same that you would get out of some other... Uh, popular plastic miniatures products, so they're very hobby friendly. So people who like to paint can do an amazing set. Um, you're going to get uh, a whole bunch of new heroes in the box that you don't already have access to. Um, if you've already been collecting models, it's great. You can add to your collection. You can have a lot of new monsters, you know, big monsters, bosses, things you haven't quite seen yet, um, which really enhance the flavor of the game and give it a full-on experience. I mean, we, we like to say this is the world's first 16-bit tabletop strategy game, and, and it's exactly what it is. And so going back to our roots, uh, I think we're going to have a real fun product, and uh, we're going to stay true to it. Nice. I'm really looking forward to seeing it <clears throat> uh, in, in, in August, and uh, we'll probably talk again. Looking forward to it. Got a lot to show off then. <laughs> All right. Thanks.